Hello, I'm John with OpenAI Technical Support, and today's question is, how do I export recorded video on OE3 E-Series DVRs? To begin the export process, press the backup button on the DVR front panel or export on the menu. This will launch the manual export screen. Manual export is designed to provide a one-time export of some or all of the cameras over a selected period of time. The first option on the manual export screen is target. Target option allows the destination for the data to be selected. The default option is the DVD-RW drive, which supports CDR and DVD-R media. Data can also be backed up to an attached USB storage device. USB storage devices must be formatted using the FAT32 file system and can be a maximum of two terabytes in size. To format a USB device, simply select the format option. E-series DVRs can format USB devices up to 32 gigabytes in size. If a larger device is to be used, a utility is included on the accompanying software disk that can format devices up to two terabytes in size. It is important to note that formatting any device will result in the loss of all existing data on that device. Next, select the from and to range. Any time and date can be selected as long as the from time is before the to time and the range is within the range of data recorded on the DVR. The next option is the channel selection, which allows the desired channels to be selected for the export process. Check the box next to all to select all channels or select a single or multiple channels as needed. The recording start and end times show the oldest and newest recorded data on the DVR. This reference is useful in ensuring that a date outside of the range of recorded data is not selected. Select Estimate and the amount of space required to export the media will be displayed next to Required Space. Free Space will display how much space is available on the export media. This number needs to be larger than the required space. Finally, export will begin the export process. If the required export times are not known, search can be used to assist in the export process. Simply locate the first point that needs to be part of the export in the search, then press the backup button. Let the video play until the last point that needs to be in the export is reached, then press the backup button again. After pressing backup a second time, the manual export screen will appear with the selected start and end times already selected, as well as the specified channels that were viewed during the search. E-Series DVRs also offer automatic backup functionality. Auto USB backup is designed to offer a level of redundancy and additional storage option by allowing data to automatically be backed up to a USB storage device. The auto export runs just behind the data recorded on the DVR's internal drive, so the export will always be up to date. To configure auto USB backup, launch the export, then select auto USB backup. The first option is USB target, which allows the desired storage device to be selected. CDs and DVDs cannot be used with the auto USB backup. Only USB devices, which can be up to two terabytes in size, can be used. If the overwrite option is turned on, the DVR will automatically begin deleting the oldest recorded data on the storage device, as it does with an internal storage device, to make room for new data. If this option is turned off, the DVR will stop recording once the drive is full. As with the manual export, some or all channels can be selected as part of the export, allowing a longer archival time for priority cameras if needed. Free space displays how much free space remains on the selected USB device. This number will not refresh unless the export has been started. Finally, start will begin the auto export process. 
If the USB device needs to be removed during an export, remember to stop the process using the stop button before disconnecting the device. The easiest export method is instant backup. To use this function, simply insert a USB drive, CD, or DVD and press the red instant backup button. This button exports all cameras for up to one hour of the most recently recorded video. The duration and default media can be modified by the DVR administrator in the record setup under the instant option. All exports from E-Series DVRs are done in the native proprietary format of the DVR. This ensures that data has not been modified and keeps the time required to back up data to a minimum since no encoding is required. To enable playback of this proprietary format, the export viewer utility is included by default in every export. The backup viewer utility will load automatically when media containing the export is inserted into a Windows-based computer. To begin playing back data, click Open, select the desired start time, then click OK. After the media has been selected, zoom, brightness, contrast, and playback speed can be adjusted. In addition, all screen divisions are available and video can be played forward, reverse, or frame by frame. In the event that a standard format video is required, the export viewer can export video to AVI format. To save an AVI file, click on a channel, then click on AVI. In the export screen, add a digital signature if needed to prevent file tampering and a start and end time. If audio recording is available, checking the Include Audio will include that audio with the video clip. Finally, click OK to select a destination and begin the AVI file creation process. For more information on OpenEyes products and solutions, or to view more helpful tutorial videos like the one you're watching now, visit us at openeye.net. From OpenEye, I'm John.